Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how I make homemade frozen custard. It's easy and it always turns out delicious. And every time I post about it on Instagram, I get a ton of people asking for the recipe and how I do it. So here goes nothing. I am doing a half recipe from what I normally do because I don't have as much cream as I usually do, but I will put the full recipe amount in the video description because trust me, you want to do the full amount. And this is for a four quart ice cream machine. Now I'm going to put my heavy cream in my pan. Filling hopefully. My vanilla extract. And then a pinch of salt. I like sea salt. I don't think it really matters. And then the sugar. I'm using cane sugar. I like this better. Um, you could mess around with your sweeteners. You could do, you know, regular sugar, honey, maple syrup. Just taste test it as you go to make sure. I would start small and then build. You can just mix it into this and then just, you know, stick your finger in there or get a spoon and you can tell if it's going to be sweet enough or too sweet. Let's give that a little mix so all the ingredients are incorporated. And then start the oven. I'm going to bring this up to a low simmer. While that's heating up, get the eggs. I need to separate the yolks from the white. Ooh, it's making a mess. Now I only want the yolk, but if a little bit of white gets in there, it's not a big deal. This isn't something super fancy that getting a little white in there is going to destroy it. Now, you can, the eggs will get added into here later, but you can mix the sugar in with the egg whites instead of putting that directly in the cream mixture. I've done it both ways. It doesn't seem to make a difference on the final product. It just kind of depends on how hot I'm going to let this get before I put the eggs in there. Because I don't want the yolks to cook when I put them in. I don't want you know chunks of cooked egg in my custard. I want them to dissolve. So sometimes it's just easier to mix the sugar in with these because then they have all those sugar particles mixed in with them. It's a lot harder for it to cook into its chunk of egg. to mix the yolks up and then let's just sit and wait until this has a low simmer. Now that I can pay attention to this I will turn the heat up a little bit more to get it going faster and then just kind of stir it occasionally otherwise sometimes you'll get like a film that solidifies onto the side, which is okay. You could always strain that out before you pull it, before you pour it into the ice cream mixture, or you can just leave it. It doesn't really matter. Okay, we can see it's just kind of starting to simmer a little bit around the edges. going a little bit more than that. Um, the egg whites, I always save 
I either cook them up with some butter and salt and pepper and feed them to the kids or I'll just feed them to the dogs because nothing goes to waste. And the shells obviously get saved to either get fed back to the chickens or go into the garden. So now that it's simmered for a few minutes, and I know this is good and hot, I'm going to start, this is gonna be hard because I'm trying to show you and do this at the same time. I'm gonna start incorporating, let's see. Okay, you can see from there. This hot mixture into the oaks while constantly mixing them. This is to avoid getting those cooked chunks. You gotta keep it mixing. You can see that. Should do. Mix with my right hand. <laughs> and then, of course, I have to also watch <laughs> what's simmering at the same time because once it gets hot, it kind of goes. Now once this is pretty liquidy, I don't have to be concerned about that turning into cookie yolks in here anymore. So now, I can just dump it all right back in this bowl. And you want to get all of it out because this is what makes it thick and rich and creamy and so delicious. And then depending on if it's still pretty hot, which you can see this is steaming, so this is hot enough, I can just shut off the oven. It doesn't need to cook anymore. It's been thoroughly heated. So the next step is that, let's see. I have my little container. This is what the ice cream goes into. I need to pour it all into here, hopefully without spilling. Yeah. Hang on. <clears throat> okay. Now this has to cool completely before I can put it in the ice cream machine. This would not work at all. The consistency would be terrible. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge for probably three or four hours. So you, usually if I'm gonna make custard and I want it that night, I'll start it in the morning. I'm a little behind today, but that's fine. Um, but so it needs to chill and be completely cool. You don't want it to have any residual heat or warmth at all. Cool completely in the fridge, and then once that's done, you're ready to go. But I'm just gonna show you quick how I use my ice cream machine, because for the second part of this video, I have to do it in two parts. Still using a cell phone for this. I'm not cool enough to have actual filming equipment, guys. Anyways, this is the blade that's gonna turn it into ice cream. It's fine, or custard. It's fine to put it in here now. The, the heat's not gonna bother it. Here's my giant, super fancy ice cream machine. It was really cheap, guys, it was 35 bucks. It's a little dinky. You have to get it lined up just right, but it's paid for itself a million times over. I'm pretty sure this is a Hamilton Beach. I'll try and put the link in the, oh yeah, Hamilton Beach. I'll put the link for this in the description. The one thing that I do not like about this, so this is kind of soft metal right here. 
you have to get, so this, the metal piece, peeks through here, this sits on top, and then it spins the blade. You have to get these lined up exactly right, or it will eat the inside, and then you'll end up with metal shavings in your custard, and you have to throw it all away. I learned that the hard time, one of the first times I made custard with this. So just, if you get this machine, you need to be really careful and pay close attention to how you set it up. I will show you how to do that. Put it in here. Oops. Lids on. Dump around a bunch of, of ice mixed with rock salt. I can't remember. Of course. I can't remember how much rock salt goes in it. I'll say that in the next video. But you put the ice right up to about that line. Rock salt, which is what keeps the ice from melting super fast and allows it all to cool. And you get your super fancy thing. And you have to get it lined perfectly. Now you will know it's not lined perfectly if this side slid in and this side's still up. Don't. Well, I guess I got it okay. But see, there's barely a gap down there. If that gap is like, I'll try and do it incorrectly here. There we go. If the gap is big like that, you can still get one side in and you could force the other side partially, but the gap is too big. It's gonna be wobbly and you'll see it. There, there'll be a little bit of movement when it's spinning, but if it's like, you know, going crazy or making obnoxious noises, you're, you're shaving metal. I can promise you that. But I'm not actually going to do that, those parts on video because it's loud and it's obnoxious and it takes about 40 minutes and you don't want to watch 40 minutes of that. <laughs> so here's my custard. Take the lid off so it cools a little faster and it's going into the fridge for a few hours and I will get back to you this later tonight to do part two.